up, y'all? I said, what's up, y'all? Look at me when I'm talking to you, bro. Nah, I'm just messing with y'all, man. This your boy, Knockout Boxing 86 TV, and we in here. So check this out. Before I get going on our video, smash the like button. Subscribe to the channel if you're new here. Share the video. Turn on your notifications. And don't forget that we live Monday, Wednesday, and Thursday night at 730. And I'm also live every Sunday morning with the Singing OG KQKC Boxing Network. Sunday mornings at 9 a.m. Central Time. And please join the channel for access to exclusive content. Drop super chats and super thanks when you come by the live streams. And, um, you know, it helps support the channel, man. The more support we get, the more time I have to spend dropping content for y'all. And please um, hit me up, you know, for the TKO Debate Series if you want to debate Knockout Boxing 86 at Yahoo.com. Let's get it cracking. Frank Martin versus Artem Hartuna. No, 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 no. 12-round, 135-pound fight. Main event on the Showtime card. Frank Martin back in action, 28 years old. Southpaw, 5'8", 68-inch reach. Out of Detroit, 17 wins. No losses, 12 wins by way of knockout. Then you got Artem out of Armenian Orthodox fighter, five foot seven, thirty-two years old, twelve wins, no losses, seven wins by way of knockout. Battle of the undefeated. Artem um is a pretty he got pretty good power. Um he's never been outside of Germany fighting. I like his big left hook, um, but I worry about his level of competition and he is just not anywhere near the athlete that Frank Martin is. He gonna have to catch Frank Martin with some timing. He gonna have to catch Frank Martin with um, you know, in between some shots to have a shot to win this fight. Frank Martin, really good feet, taking angles, um, very explosive athlete, um, good jab, goes to the body, well schooled, good fundamentals as you would expect out of the Derrick James gym, um, hands coming back to the proper position, uh, distance control is on point, especially that step back counter left hand, oh, oh, ask, ask Michelle Rivera about that, and always, and always finding different angles, man, with those feet, his feet. Or very quick, very fast, very choppy, and he can cut that angle off quick and take different routes to get his left hand off specifically. That straight left hand is a thing of beauty. Um, one thing with him, though, he carry a lot of muscle, and, and you can see he fights in spurts. You know, when you look at Earl Spence Jr., he can fight every second of every round. Frank Martin is more so kind of fight you, kind of take a break, fight you, kind of take a break. He likes to fight at his own pace. And he's good at setting the pace, make no mistake about it. But that is one thing um, is that he does fight in spurts. And if you if you watch him, um, you'll, you'll notice that. Um, it's, oh, and his body work is impeccable. Again, Derrick James, trained fighter, he's taught to go to the body and he don't stop going to the body. Specifically, he'll, he'll stab you down to the body with that straight left all day if you allow him to. Um, and the right hook to the body, vicious too. Um, as far as um, who to pick in this fight, look, man, I think it's a huge talent gap here. I think this is a, I don't want to say a stay busy fight, but it's definitely, I don't think Artem is as good as Michelle Rivera. Um, I think it's the, the, the gap in the ability to simply just be an athlete in the ring, bro, is so huge. And then the skill gap, the diversity of skills that Frank Martin got, he got the better jab. Um, he sets his punches up better. He's a better counter puncher. I think his defense is tighter and more diverse. You know, whether it's the, the the elbow guard or whether he, you know, stepping back and giving you a little bit of shoulder, whether it's the high guard, whether it's the distance control in and out with the feet. He just, he got a plethora of things he do both defensively and offensively that I've never seen Artem do. And so you add, you add an athleticism gap on top of a huge skill gap, in my opinion. This got all the recipes for me to see a Frank Martin stoppage, I think. Yeah, I think we're going to see a stoppage by Frank Martin in this fight because I, th I just think Artem is not going to be able to survive the way that, like, Michelle Rivera, you can see, like, oh, damn. He overmatched. Like, bad. Like, Frank Martin is way better than him, bro. But Michelle Rivera was good enough to, like, survive. Okay, oh, shit, let me go into my high guard and shit. Let me move around. Let me pump the jab. Let me keep him up off of me. He can do a little something. Artem can't move like that. He can't survive like that. So it's an even bigger gap. And I don't think he's going to be able to survive the way that Michelle Rivera was able to survive. And I think Frank going to turn up on him. And then, you know, the camp that Frank is in right now, that ferociousness and shit that Earl doing, showing, that the work ethic and shit, I think it's all rubbing off on Frank, bro. And I think right now with... 
Anthony Joshua in their camp getting ready for Deontay Wilder. Earl Spence in the camp getting ready for Terrence Crawford. Jamel Charlo getting ready for fucking Canelo Alvarez. It's something going, it, it, you know. Greatness bring out greatness. Pursuits and shit bring out pursuits in other people. You, you, you hitting that motherfucking heavy bag. And you look over there, you see the other dude hitting the heavy bag. Oh, you gonna hit that shit harder. Or you see Earl, you you come in the gym, cause you know they stagnating times or whatever. And you 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 see Derek and, and Earl finishing up. And, and Derek like, damn, this man, he made me go 15 extra minutes on the mitts, bro. Fuck. If you frame Martin, you like, well shit, I'm going 15 extra minutes too, goddammit. What you mean? So it just I, I think I think this count probably been if I'm guessing, and this is my opinion, probably been one of his best, one of his most intense, one of his most focused. I think Frank Martin may look even better than he looked in the Michelle Rivera fight, and that's going to lead to a stoppage. I got Frank Martin stoppage somewhere between round six and round eight. I think he about to turn up on Artem. No disrespect to Artem, but you coming all the way from Germany, bro. You ain't never fought outside of Germany, and you coming to get some Frank Martin work? Yeah, you getting your ass stopped. Y'all let me know what y'all think, man. Comment below, smash the like, sub to the channel. Share the video, turn on your notifications. Don't forget I'm live Monday, Wednesday, and Thursday night. Appreciate y'all watching. Enjoy the rest of y'all day with that. We out of here. Peace out, y'all.